Welcome to the 8 Bomb. Today we're going to be going over the top 8 superhero movies that never actually got made. Let me know in the comments down below if you would have liked any of these movies over our current ones. Number 8 is Quentin Tarantino's Iron Man. So a long time ago, when Fox owned the rights to Iron Man, they were trying to get a movie made for the longest time. The ultimate goal wasn't really to make an Iron Man movie though. I mean, they were gonna have the armor, but the movie was going to be about Tony Stark, the playboy billionaire, and they had Tom Cruise ready to play that role. The issue was that they couldn't get a director on board, so eventually they got into talks with Quentin Tarantino and they tried to get him to do the movie script. Well, this was an issue for him because he was currently on a hiatus after the troubling performance of Jackie Brown recently, and he turned down their offer. So Fox decided to sell the rights to Iron Man off and call it a day because it's Iron Man, it's never gonna do well anyway. Number seven is Justice League Mortal. So around the time of Batman Begins, WB decided it would be a good idea to create a Justice League movie. They actually put $220 million into the project and they sent a casting director to Australia. Well, a lot of things got in the way of this one. First, there was a writer's strike that happened which prevented a bunch of rewrites from being completed. Then Australia pulled out of their tax break offer, so WB got stuck with a massive tax bill. And lastly, Batman Begins actually did very well. So since it did so well, they decided that they were going to move forward with more solo superhero movies because why make a giant team movie when you can make a bunch of little movies worth more money? This is how we got Green Lantern and Man of Steel instead of our Justice League movie. And at least one of those was a good movie. Number six is the X-Men Origins Magneto movie. So at the end of X-Men The Last Stand, Fox decided that they wanted to keep going with their original timeline. But of course, that was going to be difficult since they killed off about 90% of the important cast. So their plan was to relaunch the franchise as an X-Men Origins franchise, and it was going to encompass multiple movies starring individual X-Men. Well, this was going to be based on the box office sales of the first two movies, and those first two were going to be Wolverine and Magneto. But since Wolverine underperformed in the box office and the writer's strike got in the way of them actually completing the script for Magneto, they took the entire script and turned it into X-Men First Class instead. Not a bad decision because I actually enjoyed X-Men First Class. Number 5 is the live-action Batman Beyond and Batman Year One movies. Following the failure of Batman and Robin, WB decided that they needed a new Dark Knight on the big screen. So, a few submissions were made. One of which was a Batman Year One movie idea based on the classic comic book series, and the other was a script written by the Batman Beyond creators for a Batman Beyond live-action movie. It never made it past the initial script phase, but could you imagine a Batman Beyond movie done by Christopher Nolan instead of Batman Begins? Number four is Joss Whedon's Wonder Woman. So after Buffy ended and Serenity failed to hit the same level of cult status, WB decided to bring in Joss Whedon to handle their Wonder Woman movie. Supposedly, he was on the project for about two years, preparing scripts and casting until WB got cold feet and they backed out. Then Joss went to Marvel and began working on the Avengers movie. Boy, what a bad move on WB's part. Could you imagine a Wonder Woman movie in the vein of Buffy and Serenity? That would have been epic. Number three is Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4. So Spider-Man 3 wasn't supposed to end Sam Raimi's tenure on the series. Sony left him on the project so that he could move on to Spider-Man 4, but Mr. Raimi supposedly decided to get picky about his next script. He repeatedly turned multiple ones down because he just didn't find one that felt right. Well, as the story goes, Sony eventually got tired of waiting for him, so they kind of went a little behind his back and started working on their reboot, Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not really sure if I would have preferred Spider-Man 4 by Sam Raimi because, you know, Spider-Man 3 really wasn't that good. Number two is the Wachowskis Plastic Man. Now, long before The Matrix was a thing, the Wachowskis wrote up a comedy script for Plastic Man. Now, they went through and changed a lot of the important details about the superhero, and went on record stating that this was the closest thing to an actual comedy script that they think they ever would have made. Well, the script even got greenlit, and then the company brought in a director who rewrote the entire script to the point of it being a completely different movie. And since it was a different movie, it got canceled. Number one is Superman Lives by Kevin Smith. So there is a script that Kevin Smith wrote that Tim Burton was going to direct called Superman Lives. It was going to star a Nicolas Cage Superman, Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor, Chris Rock as Jimmy Olsen, and Courtney Cox as Lois Lane. So what happened? Well, first thing that happened was Tim Burton brought in somebody else to write the script, and under the new writer, they completely rewrote Kevin Smith's original plan. Superman was in therapy, Lex Luthor and Brainiac merged into Lexiac, and they had a pseudo-transformer villain as a secondary character. Seriously, this was a villain that could transform into a car. 
And if you listen to Kevin Smith's little story that he did on the whole thing, it also involved a giant spider fighting Superman, and I think he wasn't gonna fly or something? I don't know, it's a really interesting story, and it's about 30 minutes of Kevin Smith explaining what went wrong with this project. You should look it up on YouTube sometime. But suffice to say, by the time they rewrote the entire thing, the studio decided that it would cost way too much money to make, and they shelved the project. And those are my top eight superhero movies that never got made. Would you have watched any of these? Are most of these garbage in your opinion? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time right here at Bomb.